What's up, everybody? Y'all already know who we are. We just coming on again to say something real quick. I just want to talk about love. I know it's been on my, it's been on me heavy. Love. Okay, so there's conditional love and then it's unconditional love. Most people were taught how to survive and that taught them conditional love. We need unconditional love in all areas of the word unconditional. If you love someone unconditionally, you love them through their good, their bad, their ugly, their happiness, their joy, their all of that. The conditional love comes into play when someone only wants to come around to better themselves. They only wanna be around you for what you got at that time. They only want to be around you because maybe they're hurt at that time and they need that love, but that's, that's not unconditional. That's conditional Thanks. love because they're only coming around for that one reason. Listen. We can't sell y'all. It's important that we really do open our eyes to the spirit of discernment to know and to see who is around us to drain us of our love. Because our love shouldn't be drained by people who really unconditionally love us. If they unconditionally love you, they're gonna support you and be there through you, be there with you through everything, no matter what it is. They're gonna be right beside you. I know she loved me unconditionally, y'all. I know that for a fact. <laughs> I know she loved me unconditionally. Soul sister. Soul sister. Soul ties. But yeah, that conditional love is what we have to watch out for. Um, love is not toxic. Love does not hurt. Love is not proud and love is not boastful. And that's in the Bible, y'all. We have love. to find a way to... Toxic? Mm -hmm. Love is not toxic. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Love is not boastful. Love is none of that. Love is love. God is love. So if we love God like we say we do them. So if we say that we love our God, it's important for us to abide in love because you have to love one another as you would love yourself. You know, we was in school. They said treat your treat your neighbor how you want to be treated. No, you love you love one another how you want to be loved. And if that love is not given back to you, then you take your love away because it's not meant for your love to be given to that person. You will drain and drain and drain and drain your energy, your the love that you're supposed to give to your wife or your husband, but would have been done been wasted because you're giving your love away to people who don't deserve it. And now it's time for you to stop that. Really understand the people who are around you. Open your eyes to really see what they're around you for. And if it is any conditional reason, any conditional reason, whether that is friendship or love, you exit out of that and you run away real quick. Real quick. We ain't got time for it. Tom. Waits for no man. Yeah. <laughs> time. It's something you can't get back there. You cannot get time back. So, like she said, when you show God love, make sure it's all your love. Like you giving yourself to him. So it's not like a tug of war. So when you tug of war and it's like... Walk you for it in, walk for it out. So it's like you you struggling and you right. trying to tug, but you don't know which way to go to win. Make sure you're tugging in the right direction make sure it's always right many of us have went left a lot in our lives but now is the time for us to make it right and go right like literally make it right and go right that's all if you really love and abide in love then you won't settle for anything less than the love What'd that you say? know you were you deserve i went left he told <laughs> okay me so i'm standing right here in the midst of my tears lord so i got an example Okay, so I know y'all always, well, not always, I know y'all heard that saying, um, you can't mix vinegar and oil together. Um, that's more so like unconditional, conditional. One foot in, one foot out. So it's like either you're going to genuinely always be there regardless, or you would rather just get what you want or can take and just go away. And you can't mix vinegar and oil together. I know that because I like vinegar. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah y'all everything all comes back to love it all comes back to the love everything we do should be done out of love it's not to throw up in someone else's face it's not to try to hold it over their head well i did this for you so you owe me no if you're doing something from the kindness out of your heart then that's love that's true love you shouldn't expect nothing back from that because your gift comes from god and some of those conditional love came from family members 
you know, I had family members doubting me, doubting my growth in the spirit, doubt just doubting me as a person because I'm not the type of person to live by another person's rules. I'm the type to live by my own. I felt conditional love too. That's when you know it's real. Listen, like I said before, conditional love and unconditional love. Pick which one you want to be on the side of. Do not allow yourself to be used or abused just because that's just what you've been used to. Like I said earlier, a lot of people were taught to how, how to survive and not to live. And a person with the mindset of being just taught to how to survive, yes, they will. They are unconditional love. They have to reprogram their whole train of thinking to understand what unconditional love is and how it comes into play. So y'all just wanted to say, y'all, love yourself first. And when you love others, love them unconditionally. So guys, love yourself first or nobody will. I always remember to put yourself first when it comes to love. Just love yourself, love others. The way you want to be loved, treat people the way you want to be treated is in the Bible. That's the second commandment of the Ten Commandments. So, guys, we just wanted to come share our love with you guys. Okay, because we some loving people. So, um, Y'all see what Miss Val this whole time. <laughs> we always thank you guys for the support, the genuine love that you guys give us, and to our Daily. day one supporters. We love you guys. Continue to watch the videos listen to the message and if you have something to say get some feedback we love feedback listen we're not the type of people that don't know how to take criticism we can take it because that criticism is, criticism is what make us stronger this is emotional corporation worldwide global global baby what you say nations we we are reaching the nations but y'all will not hear us speaking y'all will hear the power of jesus speaking through us so it could prevail and go out across the world. Listen, we on a mission. I'm glad y'all joined the movement. Continue to be in the movement because this is just the beginning. CEO, CFO, we signing out. Deuces to the people. We love y'all genuinely, wholeheartedly. Continue to have a blessed, prosperous day in the name of Jesus. And until next time, we rise, we fly through the power of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Love y'all.